Welcome to this week's CSU Sports Weekly Update. Hope everyone had a good Halloween. I'm Katie Toll. And I'm Kelsey Riggs. Men's and women's basketball both kicked off their seasons with scrimmages on Saturday. Both teams have games coming up. Check CSUSports.com for upcoming game times. The women's soccer team defeated Gardner-Webb in their final regular season game 3-1. The girls earned a part in the first place five-way tie. They leave tomorrow for Virginia where they will be seated fourth in the conference tournament. Our men's football team traveled to New York to take on Stony Brook College. Trailing by six at halftime, the Bucks ended up with a 41-21 loss after an explosive third quarter led by the Seawolves. The women's cross country team finished eighth overall in the Big South Conference Championship. Adrienne Cuff had an impressive weekend running her personal best and earning all academic honors. The ladies have one meet left in Louisville, Kentucky. The men's cross country team also had an eighth place finish at their conference championship with Andrew King leading the way, finishing 31st individually. He was also awarded all academic honors. They will head with the women to Kentucky on the 13th to compete in their final meet. The men's golf team is sitting in fifth after two rounds of play at the Kiowa Intercollegiate. They are currently shooting 38 over par. Check out CSUSports.com to follow them through their final round of play. After a tough loss Friday night to Conference Leaders Liberty Flames, the women's volleyball team is looking forward to hosting Coastal Carolina tonight in their last of, three, of a three-game home streak. The girls are also looking forward to break their two losses prior to Coastal, so come out tonight at 6 and support them in their efforts. That's all we have for this week. Be sure and check out CSUSports.com for all your updates and game schedules. I'm Katie Toll. And I'm Kelsey Riggs. Go Bucks!